uh, five minutes. And I will remind uh, everyone again that uh, uh, this is not a forum for applause, outbursts of any kind. And uh, should anyone uh, fall prey to that type of behavior, you will be asked to leave. So the floor is yours, sir. Five minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Tom Morris, uh, 111 Dogwood Drive. I've been a resident here in Lovell for over 12 years now. Um, I'll touch briefly on Butterworth, but my issue is more with, with city infrastructure. I was surprised to see that the, the Butterworth project is going to be at least 50 condos, uh, if not, and, and potentially more as the development grows. I was also surprised to see that the plans touted convenient access to 275, when the only way to get from that property to 275 is through 48 South, here through the center of town. Traffic is already a nightmare at that intersection. I've heard a number of residents complaining about it. I see pictures all the time about it being backed up. The bike path and the train tracks make it worse, and we can't get rid of those. Please don't get rid of the bike path and the train tracks. We don't have the roads for these kind of projects. We don't have the structure to get through the city. We need to be having more discussion about how can we improve our city's infrastructure before we go gung-ho building more properties, more condos, more apartments, more shopping places. Are condos and apartments really what the city needs? I'm not hearing any discussion about that. We seem to be making these large scale plans for people that might live here for three months to a year at the sacrificing of, of the needs of people who lived here for 10, 20, 60 years in a, a home. Uh, the planning and zoning that we have going on are not what we expect. We need to have a better discussion about what we can do as a city about, as far as what we can possibly do, not what should we do and just start building randomly. It's terrible to see historic Loveland falling apart, literally and figuratively, more and more each day. It's, it's not too late, and I would hate for this council to be remembered as the council who let it happen. We have enough layers of government in, in this country that would rather be hated than forgotten. We don't need our city to be one of them. So, Really, the, the biggest thing I'd ask for is, is to please get more involvement. You know, we, we deserve better than state minimum. So if we can pass anything at the city level to say that we hold ourselves to a higher standard than the state minimum seating on a CIC board, the state minimum amount of hearings on a property, if we can pass something to say that, that we hold ourselves at a higher level, please do. We deserve that. We clearly have a city that wants to be involved with what we do as a community. And I would love for everyone here to have that say. Thank you. Thank you. Next, uh, uh, <laughs> that is your one more. I have the authorities here, uh, and I have to elaborate a little further. This is a business meeting. We're certainly glad you're here. Appreciate your interest and attention, but please be respectful and. Uh, withhold outbursts, applause, and things of that nature. Uh, next person to speak.